Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be using heat to seal up a print, thus trying to make it waterproof. I think it should be relatively easy to use heat to seal up a print and making it waterproof. All we have to do is to smooth the outer layer of the print and then that should melt all the layers together sealing up the print so no water will get in. Let's start. We will have to heat up our gem until the point where the outer surface starts to melt and then take it off. This is actually harder than it looks. You have to know just the right timing to heat it up to and then remove it. Some of the pillars here I've already warped, but I'm getting there. The print should be sealed now. We can see that I actually messed up a bit when I was smoothing the surface of the gem. Some of the pillars are actually warped, but other than that, we can proceed to the next step. Now let's submerge it into a mason jar full of water with another print that was not, so we can find out whether or not our sealing worked. I left it inside for the water overnight now, so let's take a look at them. We'll take a look at the yellow gem first, as it was not heat treated, so we can actually see whether or not any water seeped into the print. Here we can actually see some water has started to seep into the print, especially in this one corner. Yep, the most obvious part is this corner. Now let's take a look at the red one that we treated with heat. I don't see any water in it. Nope, not in this angle, not in this pillar. It seems like the treatment worked. Well, there we have it. We tried heat treating our PLA to seal it up and then making it waterproof and it works. It does take less time to seal the print than other methods like using epoxy resin and waiting for it to cure, and we don't have to deal with any of those chemicals. Although it does take time to get used to before perfecting the technique without warping the print, but I guess it works. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering New. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and stories from teachers on what they think of 3D printing. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.